Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MLC Tech and now a big issue a lot of people had with Intel 14th gen is just how much power and how hot so CPUs have gotten. Now unlike certain motherboard manufacturers who think it's a good idea to crank the voltage up exponentially and in some cases set your CPU on fire, MSI have decided to recognise that this is a bit of an issue with 14th gen and have actually issued a new firmware which can mean lower temperatures on Intel processors without hurting its performance. So sit back and relax as we take a look into MSI's approach to improve your CPU without things getting too toasty. Now keeping your CPU cool has played a massive role to leveraging the performance available on your chosen processor. But as it turns out, many Intel 14th gen CPUs actually had to take steps to reduce the CPU voltage in an attempt to lower temperatures and in some cases to improve the general stability and to stop it crashing in certain games. If you'd like to know more about that story, we did a video recently about that as well. However, in that process, the performance of non-K version CPUs dropped significantly due to the implementation of CEP. And now this week, MSI posted a new BIOS option that allows more 12th gen, 13th gen and 14th gen core users to lower their peak temperatures without compromising on performance. Now the BIOS updates provide the ability to disable CEP function, otherwise known as the current extrusion protection and on previously unsupported Intel CPUs and MSI motherboards, allowing users to support CEP across selected C790, B760 and H610 platforms. And according to MSI, additional firmware support is expected to drop for other MSI B760 and 600 series boards by the end of this month. But when this is enabled, CEP prevents system instability caused by insufficient CPU voltage while under load. However, when setting this function, this can sometimes result in significant performance losses for the sake of system stability. Now, this was previously available only to Core K CPUs and C series motherboards. And this update provides a big functionality boost for additional MSI motherboards and Intel 14th gen non K CPU users. By having the ability to disable CEP, 14th gen users can now maintain high performance levels while also reducing temperatures thanks to the reduced CPU voltage. However, no implementation is going to be perfect and there is a trade-off with this however, in that disabling the function could introduce new scenarios resulting in previously unexpected system instability. Now this new firmware change is particularly beneficial to Raptor Lake refresh CPUs such as but not limited to the non-K i9-14900K, i7-14700K and the i5-14600CPU. Users that simply underfold their CPU to control power delivery and heat generation would experience severe degradation to CPU performance due to CEP imposed throttling. Disabling the protection can allow users to retain process performance levels and generate less heat without inducing performance hits due to the CPU throttling itself. And now why 12th gen and 13th cave series CPUs can disable CEP on supported motherboards, unfortunately their non-K variants will remain unaffected for now. Though it is important to note that currently this version of MSI's firmware is in beta release, so those of you not willing to take the risk would be better served with their pre-existing BIOS until a stable and official release of this firmware is officially released to the general public. If you like more more details and to go directly to the page where this beta BIOS is hosted, I have posted a link to MSI's website in the comments down below. But I really think the approach MSI's taken with its motherboards recently have been absolutely fantastic, with them retroactively increasing the memory support for their motherboards and now bringing support to disable CEP for non-K CPUs, I think is absolutely brilliant to see from MSI. And they have been on an absolute roll recently for bringing more consumer friendly options and features to their lineup of motherboards. So I really do have to say good job MSI for doing this for us. As let's just say some Marvel manufacturers as of late have been less kind and friendly to their consumer base. Definitely don't know who I'm talking about there, <coughs> Asus. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions around this in the comments down below. Are you someone who has a non-K 14th gen CPU and do you think you would benefit if you had an MSI motherboard from this new firmware update? Do let me know in the comments down below. 
And also do let me know if you would like me to take a personal look at this new motherboard firmware and to bring you live performance and benchmarks of these changes to actually properly evaluate the usefulness of this new update as I have access to the hardware in order to directly test this from MSI. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MRC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.